And they like to ride their bikes around. That's kind of their mode of transportation right now. Stacy Haney's three kids are too young to drive, but too old to need mom to cart them everywhere. They recently got excited that the new Murphy Parkway extension is about to open. It's probably a half mile. The extension is a way for cars to bypass the busy downtown traffic, but it also has a bike path. A lot of kids are thinking it will make their journey easier as well. So no, you can't go that way. There is no safe way to cross the street to get to the other side. That's because there's an obstacle between the bike path and every possible destination. So the new parkway is on this side of the tracks. You have to cross over two sets of rails to get to the library, the park, and the homes on the other side. Also, another bike path that leads into town. There is no way across the tracks currently for pedestrians. We know that this is used by residents a lot as a cut through. The city knows people hop the tracks all the time, which is a treacherous trek. They've been trying to make a safe passage. So there would actually be pedestrian gates, um, there would be fencing, there would be lighting. They want to put in an at-grade crossing at a cost of $250,000. They've gone back and forth with CSX for about a year. The railroad has different ideas. The CSX has come back with other solutions, such as like an underground tunnel or an above ground crossing. That cost, the city says a million dollars. A million dollars they don't have. So we have just a few more weeks. The parkway will open by the end of the month. The city made recent modifications requested by CSX and is waiting for a response from the railroad. In Powell, Shelby Croft, 10TV News.